Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're going to be doing a most requested video on um, how to make a condiment or a pickle that we eat at mosque. Um, and um, it uh, requires just you know a couple of spices and some of um, our vegetables which we're going to use is carrots and cucumbers. Now this recipe comes to us from Sakina Saleh Muhammad because in Minnesota and she's known to always make this pickle whenever we have a mosque um, dinner. So this can be eaten with curries, pilau, um, biryani and my favorite is just to put it on a sandwich with butter and the pickle and it tastes so good. So we're gonna go ahead I'm going to explain you all the ingredients and then I'll also explain you what my addition is and what her recipe is. Now this does not have measurements. This basically she told me she just, you know, puts things in and then it's upon the taste of how it, how it tastes. So for here, I have taken about, about five large carrots that I peeled and then I cut them and I cut them, you know, about, you know, just uh, slivered them, but not very thin slivers. And then here, uh, my addition is going to be an English cucumber and I love cucumbers in this pickle. She doesn't add it in there and I think the reason is also because it will um, take a lot of water out and if you want to save the pickle for two three days then you know that there, you're gonna have a lot of water coming out of the pickle uh, out of the uh, English cucumber I also am going to add one lime in there and that's also my addition and then so let's go ahead review the ingredients so we've got tomato paste here we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of tomato paste and that is just gauging because again we don't have measurements I'm gonna do a tablespoon of ketchup because I don't like it when it gets uh, sweet. We're gonna do salt to taste. I have here ground coriander. We're gonna do a teas uh, half, half a teaspoon of um, ground coriander, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of curry powder, and then we're gonna do a, a teaspoon of ginger and garlic, fresh, which I make at home. And we're gonna add about two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now the olive oil, the reason why we have that in there is because it uh, it basically will preserve the pickle. It'll, it'll give it the, give it give it that preservation that we need. And then I also have extra tomato paste here, just in case if we start mixing and we need a little bit more in there, then we're going to do that. So basically, this video, um, no measurements. I'm just giving you a kind of an idea of what the measurements are, but. Um, you'll have to kind of gauge what you like in this and you try it and you taste it until you get it right And I did forget chili powder and or cayenne powder and um, she also uses cayenne powder in there We'll start off with half a teaspoon and then if we need more we can always add more. So let's get started Tomato paste Fresh ginger or garlic, lasanado, ketchup. salt lime juice limbono juice dananu powder coriander powder Jirunu powder, cumin powder, curry powder, cayenne powder, canto marchu. Zaytun nutel or olive oil. Mix. 
So you want to mix this really well, do a taste test, and I think it tastes perfect. I'm not going to add anything else in it. Badger or carrots. Cucumbers, canto kakri. Mix. So we've got this all mixed in really, really well. Um, you want to do a last taste test to make sure that your chili and your salt and everything is good, and then you're ready to go. So we're done with this. I'm going to show you how I'm going to present it. Um, and um, I would, um, and also I did forget to thank Sakina on the beginning of the video too. She's uh, recording us today, um, and it really, really takes a lot of uh, time, um, and she's really um, sparing her time from college and all that for doing the video so I really from my heart would like to thank her, thank her for this. So here it is. You can serve this this last in the refrigerator at least between 3 to 5 days. Um and it will again I said if you're going to put the cucumber in there it's going to take out a little water in there so just be ready for that. Also I did forget to mention that Sakina also puts a raw mango in there. And when I say raw mango, it is the mango that, it's not our regular mangoes that are raw, but the ones that we use mostly for pickling. And um, those are great because it adds that sourness to the um, condiment. Um, I didn't use it because it gives, right now winter's coming, so our, you know, I don't, can't, couldn't find any, or you can use makak. Makak would be a great thing to use in this uh, too, when you, and makak is available in the winter time. So, um, let me give this a taste test. I want to try the uh, the cucumber because I love cucumbers. Mm. So crunchy. And for me, it has just the right amount of um, cayenne or chili powder in there. But for most of the people that eat very spicy, um, add more if you like. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehama's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. See you then, friends.